That's whatever you guys need. Knee hives. You guys took a lot of warm up, so you gotta be fresh. This is like the baby time. You gotta... Oh, we're, we're on deep. Good morning all. Yeah, good morning everyone. Um, I welcome you all to the first game for the for the battle for the Oak Hill uh, this weekend. So it's starting I see in probably less than a minute. The game is gonna be between Pancake H, stands for home. On, uh, on the right side of the camera in red colors and then on the white uh, jerseys are the Uppsala players belonging to Jacket Chick Dawes. <laughs> Looks like Pancake is already pumped up and they're on the line. usually works for the for the people that don't know ultimate frisbee yet um, the team that has chosen defense or forced to take defense would show the disc as a sign of their readiness and the offense team would show a hand this means uh, the first throw can be pulled it's called a pull so jacket jigdos on the white color they are having defense to start with and uh, jonathan in number 12 He's probably going to show the disc to show that they are ready. Um, Pancake is already ready on the right side. Receive the disc and push it through. So that's the first pull. Immediately swing to number 33. Oh, that's a really good forward shortcut. That's a good break from Ben, but not given. Oh, that's a good fake on the break side and just give an easy upline pass. Pancake makes the first point. I think the Jacket Jig does uh, are still waking up a little bit on defense. It's it's pretty difficult when you've been uh, traveling all the way to Oslo from Uppsala and having probably a tough night and getting up. It takes some time. Um, so the. Possession changes and Uppsala is going to receive the disc. Number five is Eke Varro, who has received the disc. Immediately swings on the break side. It's a give and go. Looks like a give and go. That was a pretty, pretty dangerous uh, setup. A safe upline disc. Lindom is looking for backward. Yeah, it's a dump. It's a dump. It was almost blocked by number 18 from the pancake. Still goes on to Eka. He has a lot of space. The, the handler has a lot of space, but he's not getting uh, much cuts from the horizontal stack. So they are playing 2-3 horizontal stack. It's So far, it's happening uh, like a give and go just between the handlers. And the second handler makes the point to open the account for Jacket Jigtas. If you notice the the, the, the slight challenge for uh, Uppsala is going to be getting some clear cuts from the upline or from the from the stack. Um, they needed to really choose the backup option, swinging backwards. They did this really well. There was one uh, risk 
risky pass, but they still got through and uh, made the first point. It's 1-1 with two minutes on the clock. It's a really good pull from Jonathan. It's just going over the line. Um, so in Norway, they play a slightly different indoor rules compared to where I live. Uh, so I live in Germany, and there usually if it goes over the back line with a height of two meters over the line, then you can call brick, which means they can come up up to two to three meters uh, above the zone line where there's an X mark on the field. Oh, there's a beautiful break. A beautiful cut on the on the on the zone from number 21. Um, yeah, the defender was completely faked out. He pulled him through the to the sideline and made a cut to on the, uh, to the other side. Got an easy pass. Let's see what uh, Uppsala has on their bag. What they can come back with. It's a pull from Frode. It's a really good, slow, nice, smooth pull. Again, there's a give and go. Again, there's a give and go between the handlers. There's not much movement on the horizontal stack, but still number nine, or sorry, 96, gets free and gets the disc. Dumps it back again. Swing, give and go. It looks like that is going to be their strategy to keep swinging so as much as possible. But personally, I feel like they are swinging uh, a lot more than they would probably require. They could take one or two seconds more to look for the swings. This way, they are really not spending so much time uh, expecting cuts from, from the horizontal stack. Oh yeah, that's, that's from Ben. Um, he was waiting for it, it looked like. That's an easy point from, uh, from, from Pancakes. So what happened was they were trying to give a lot of uh, short swings and short and quick swings and trying for give and goes. This uh, pushed pancakes a little bit into the into the pochi mode. That's when they are not so close up to the def uh, up to the offense players, but rather they kind of uh, close the playing uh, space. And this enabled Ben to actually read the game uh, better and uh, had some time to jump and block the disc. So, Pancake is uh, getting the lead there with 3 to 1. This should have been actually an easier offense point for Uppsala. You see now he's again. Oh, that was a risky pass, but he still made it. And that was a little bit hectic pass. This is one of the uh, points I feel like they should work on for the next games or in the coming points that they should think about slowing down the game a little bit. That was a great bit for the defense from Jonathan, almost there, but it was a safe catch and then a break pass again to this one. So Pancakes lead, leads 4-1, to one. <coughs> point close by Frode. So if you know, if you knew Frode before, you can see he's, he's more of, of the beach player. He uh, really enjoys playing beach, he and Paul, so they're brothers. Um, Paul used to be on the Pancake, uh, now changed to Eckeberg. So they travel a lot around Europe, traveling, uh, playing beach everywhere. Um, actually, indoor is, uh, <laughs> is, is, uh, is uh, apparently his least favorite uh, across, the, across the field types. So beach is his most favorite, and then grass comes over to to indoor being the last, now the least favorite. Like any typical Norwegian, he's, uh, he's focusing on sustainability, and uh, I see that on the sheet that he's really focusing into becoming green and driving electric cars. Let's see how that works for him. He's uh, part of saving the world. You see swings, now they changed a little bit into 3-2 because the uh, Pancakes are putting up the zone defense. Froda was deep, he did make a little bit of, uh, there was a little bit of contact between the two players, but I think Froda just uh, held his ground. There was no foul call from the offensive player. Oh, that's an upline. And easy break, easy pass. That was a little bit of an easy let off from the mark there. 
So what break means is actually when you are forcing one side, the team actually usually decides to force one side. And this, in this case, they were forcing forehand or forcing left towards the home. But uh, the offense uh, handler with the disc in hand, he could easily break and put it on the close side. This is something called a break throw, which uh, seems to be coming through good and uh, nice for Pancakes. They're leading 5-1. to one. Putting up a zone again from Pancake. Oh, that was um, an ambitious uh, overhead, but kind of slipped out of the player. An easy break, and Frodo makes the point again. I feel like Frodo is just getting younger by the by by the time by every game. He's just running all over the place. He's catching the disc. He's reading the game really well on offense and defense. He's a tall guy. You don't want to be on him as a defense. <clears throat> Uppsala is uh, trying to regroup upon the sideline. Unfortunately, there is no timeout, except for the finals. Um, so Jonathan seems to be the captain of the team, calling, calling the plays and uh, calling who could be on the sideline. And he is, he is pretty motivated. He's, I knew him from previous tournaments. He's really motivated to win. He's really working on the, on the team. Uppsala is a fairly new team with fairly a lot of newbies, which are new to the ultimate community. He's really recruiting a lot and bringing up the academy. He's working a lot on that. But you can see there's a clear uh, plan for playing, switching uh, or swinging over the handlers. And because Pancake has also changed their defense uh, plan from man mark to, or person mark, I'm sorry to say, uh, to, to zone defense, which because they notice that's a lot of give and goes happening this way, they don't have to run much, but the players from offense are running a lot. They are still working with two handlers. There's number 85, who is uh, trying to offer a lot from the stack, but it's not coming much. 85 is Kevin Yan. So he's, he's an ex-biochemist, I see on the field. Oh, there's a, an ambitious overhead again, but the deep uh, defense was waiting on it. But what happened was uh, number three, who is uh, Murat Takan, was immediately on the defense once the deep, uh, deep pancake uh, defense caught the disc and wanted to turn over to offense and shift the gears. He almost had the disc. It just went through, and then the disc was unfortunately thrown away on the sideline. Now Uppsala is back on the offense. Now they are playing a little bit more calm and taking the time to swing, not uh, being in a hurry. You see they are uh, taking two to three seconds more. Oh, that was... That was a defense uh, from Pancake. There's a discussion going on. Okay, I think the defense was number 18 from Pancake and there was a call probably for a strip. A strip means the offense says he got the disc and uh, the defense actually pulled it out of his hands. They discussed it uh, a little bit, what the situation was. And this is a main, uh, in my perspective, it's a major uh, aspect of Ultimate Frisbee to have a respectful communication and discussion about uh, plays. Pancake made the defense there turned it and a breakthrough to make the point. Ben makes the point there. He is really, really athletic. He's, he just saw that there was a defense, immediately shifted gears and went for the point. So back to the call there. Um, a strip means offense call says they got the disc and the defense pulled it out. And defense can either put their argument forward uh, or say accept or contest. I think in this case, except uh, they discussed it uh, for uh, half a minute or so, and actually often said um, it's, it's, it was a fair defense, so he retracted the call, which is uh, a really good spirit from his side. 
Okay, now uh, Uppsala is back on the offense on the next point, still playing with two handlers. Playing through the middle, that was actually a good throw. Oh, there was, that went through, went over the Uppsala player in the middle on six, number 64. Did not catch it, and number 97 really placed the bit on this disc, making a layout catch, but unfortunately it was, the disc was grounded before he caught the disc. So it's a turn, and it's an inside forehand for the upline cut to Frode. They are still looking for the break side. It seems a little bit that the mark is unsure of which side they are forcing, and it was an easy, easy setup pass for the zone point. It's eight for Pancake and one for Uppsala. Almost 13 minutes into the game. So number 85, Kevin Yan. He's, I think, uh, right now on the sideline from Uppsala. He seems to be really quick on the on the field. Somehow he's not getting spotted from the from the handlers. Um, and Yan is apparently an ex biochemist and took up a physiotherapy uh, off late. Okay, there was a pull that went over the line outside the field and uh, number five from Uppsala called Brick and he is allowed to come up two to three meters from the zone line in the middle. And still Uppsala is playing with two handlers. One handler is trying to come up and he gets a disc. They are swinging over the middle. Oh, there was a no-look through throw to the, to the middle and now they are moving up the field. Oh, that was a great movement from Uppsala to score that second point after a long time. There was a really great play. Um, there was, the breakthrough was really from the, from the number five, Erke, who did the no look to the middle where the zone wasn't expecting the disc. And then it went on the other side, far side of the field to make the break and finally the point. Let's see if this would, uh, Kick up the spirits for the for Uppsala to to come back. Uppsala pulling. Jonathan was caught on the zone. It's a ladies handling right now for pancakes. Given up to the middle handler, uh, middle uh, stack player. Oh, that was a was a really low backhand. Again, break from Froda and Ben puts it up. But that was a great flow. That was flowing smoothly like butter. Ben just catches it and he knows Frode is running up line and he just doesn't even have to wait. He just turns around losing his balance but still uh, setting it up. That's kind of the throws you really want to chase. Just flying up in front of you, defender behind you, you have all the time in the world, you just need to catch it. Pancake scores one more point to take the lead to seven again. About 10 minutes left on, left on the game. Froda pulls the disc. Froda seems to be practicing his uh, pulls pretty well. He's always getting the discs to float as much as possible. Still goes over the line. And Erka comes to the brick point. Pancake seems to notice that uh, Uppsala is getting away with their zone defense, so they shift back to man or person defense to mix it up a little bit. There seems to be some contact from Froda uh, on Erke. Sometimes it happens that uh, when the offense player cuts, uh, defense couldn't change the decision, uh, change the direction as much as the offense. So there are sometimes uh, accidental contacts that happen. And most important thing is what Froda did, that he apologized immediately and uh, the game goes on. Unfortunately, there was a great break knife, but it went over the player in the zone. Could have been a great point for Uppsala, but possession change and Pancake is playing up. There seems to be a, a really nice flow to Pancake. You can see there are a lot of experienced players on the team. They have been training a lot together. 
what really amazes me with Uppsala is every time I see them being young in terms of experience uh, in the ultimate community, they are still not afraid to make mistakes, they're not afraid to learn, they're not afraid to uh, make passes that others don't dare. Still keeping up their motivation high, still going to tournaments, and this is exactly what you want from every single uh, ultimate player that you know. Pancake making the next pull. Jonathan gets the disc in the middle, almost at the brick point. Oh, it was a nice, uh, there was a kind of a break knife. The 95 catches it, uh, falling down, wants to give it back, but then there was a defense who was waiting on that disc. So, so. Uppsala wanted to put up a wall defense, which means there's one chaser and there are four defense on the zone line. Almost looked like a wall. Um, but Pancake was able to break it over the head of the player, or head of the defense. It was actually a push pass. This is something that you can really enjoy in indoor Florida, for example. Uh, um, on the contrary to, to Bree Beach, which is pretty windy, and if you want to try a push pass there, it's pretty, pretty courageous, I would say. <laughs> Pancake is pulling again for the next point. Erke tries to get it, but then waits on it so that it flies over to the to the out, to the outside of the field, and now he calls brick. Ben is waiting for the defense. Forcing uh, right side, forcing home. Again, it's the first pass. Seem, first pass seems to be always to the handler. Oh, there was a risky pass again. Ben was waiting, but it goes on. Oh, push pass in the zone. Somehow both the passes seems to be a little bit risky, but they are comfortable with doing this. And then he runs up. So again, a give and go. And oh. That was a great pass, piercing through two defenders exactly in the middle. Both seemed to get it, but did not. But this confused uh, Kevin a little bit as well, and then he dropped to this. Break throw from Ben. He gives and goes immediately to deep, waiting for the cut from the deep. And yes, Ben gets it. Gives it back to Ben. Ben puts up inside from the sideline. To the zone middle. Great throw, great catch. You see, experienced teams do this always that an offense, the offense player runs into the zone towards the uh, sideline, doesn't get it, changes the direction, does a seven cut, gets a disc on the other side. Pull from Pancake, Jonathan gets it. In the zone, swings it to the middle. Hannah Stromberg gets a disc, puts it in the middle. Another drop, unfortunately, from number 94. Oh, this seems to be a scuba, was it? I did not see that throw, but it flew over the player to the a little bit too far away, and the position changes to Jackso, uh, Jigsaw. Sorry. No, Jack Dog. <laughs> there seems to be a little bit more movement now um, from Uppsala. Jonathan gets it, puts up a breakthrough knife, gets it back. Oh, that was a great defense from number 21 from Pancake. Jonathan wanted to break it, going low, down on his knees. But the Pancake defender wanted to wait on it, got the disc, gets it back, puts it to Frodo. And that seems to be the end of that game. Pancake wins it 13-2. to Uppsala had moments of uh, miracles here and there, unfortunately. A little bit far behind. Good luck to both the teams for their next games and this is Bala signing off for this game. Thank you very much. Have fun watching.